Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is November which means it's basically Christmas which means that it is time for another gift giving guide video. So I have come up with a list of over a hundred gift ideas for 2020 and I'm going to go through them with you and tell you all of the details and all of the bits and pieces you can give or that you can ask for for Christmas. So I have done my best to separate all of these things into like subcategories of like different areas of presents and gift giving but we'll see how it goes. So I've got my list on my phone here and we are going to go through them. So the first category is electronics, all of the like big ticket items. So some of the things that you may like to gift include AirPods, an iPhone, an Apple Watch, an iPad or a laptop, things that are used daily and that you might use for school and for leisure. You may also want to ask for an HP Sprocket, which is a little device that prints out Polaroid photos from your phone. Otherwise, you may want to ask for a Polaroid camera or Polaroid film if you already have a Polaroid camera, especially in Australia and in summer. Polaroid cameras are like so much fun to have with you all the time. Then if you're into this kind of stuff, you may want to ask for a digital camera, so like a Canon D7X. You may also want to ask for a ring light or a drone or perhaps a GoPro, something like that, that you can do some photography, some filming, some YouTube perhaps with. Similar but not in the exact same area, you could also ask for some gaming consoles. So you could ask for a PlayStation, for an Xbox if those are still even around, a Nintendo Switch, you could ask for controllers for any of these or any games that go alongside these as well. And I mean, if you're feeling extra bougie, you could also ask for a TV to pop in your bedroom if you have space for it. Personally, I don't have space in mine and I don't really care for having a TV, but if it's what you want, pop it on your list, darling, cross your fingers, Santa might bring it to you. And then of course, if you get some of these things like a phone or a laptop, you may want to ask for a case for either of them, just to keep them well protected and make sure that you can keep them in a star condition. You may also like to ask for a record player. I have one of those and they are so much fun. And then if you ask for one or if you already have one, you could ask for vinyl records as well that you can play on it so that you get a good use out of it. If you're old school like me or if you have a car without Bluetooth, you could also ask for CDs to jam to in the car or just if you want a CD. Otherwise, if you need a speaker, you could ask for a speaker or some headphones to listen to music and stuff like that. Now, moving on to more beauty products. This is quite a long list, so if you're into something beauty related or you want some sort of like makeup or skincare, then this portion of the video is for you. So you may want to ask for makeup, so like an eyeshadow palette, like you may want the Maddie Ziegler eyeshadow palette, you may want the James Charles eyeshadow palette, you may want any sort of eyeshadow palette. There are so many and they're so, so nice. So add that to your list. Then just some of the essentials, you may ask for a makeup brush set or makeup brushes, some beauty blenders, you could also like go a little bit out there, ask for a highlighter palette, ask for some lipsticks, some lip balms, some lip glosses, all of the little bits and pieces that you wouldn't normally buy for yourself but would love to treat yourself with and then you can be treated for Christmas. So you could also put on false lashes on there, um, I don't wear false lashes myself but if I did I know they would be on my Christmas list. You can also ask for a makeup mirror. So you could either get one of those like little ones that you just pop on your desk, or if you really want to, you could ask for one of those like massive Hollywood ones, which are so insane. I was very tempted to buy one for my bedroom, but I got the mirror that I currently have. Check out my room tour video if you want to see it. Um, that is also a good shout to pop on there because mirrors are an essential. Now, skincare products. This is a very extensive area, but it's obviously very specific to the person and their skincare needs. So your list might be a little bit more specific than mine, but you could ask for your favorite skincare brand. You could ask for one of those skincare fridges where you can keep all your products in there. And then you could also ask for a crystal roller, like one of them face rollers, which you could pop in your fridge and keep cool to use on your face. I always have wanted one of those face rollers. I think they're so cool. Might have to put that on my Christmas list this year. <laughs> So you could ask for like face masks, serums, you could ask for cleansers, exfoliants, all of these skincare things, whatever your heart desires. 
still sort of on the beauty route you could also ask for nail polish or you could ask for one of those like fake nail sets either just like stick on ones or you could ask for the whole kit where you get like the uv light and you pop your nails in and do them professionally at home you may also like to ask for some like body washes some shampoos and conditioners such as like some really nice ones from like the body shop or places like that that you wouldn't normally purchase from but you would like to have as a little treat for yourself. Also you cannot go wrong with a Lush bath bomb. Any Lush product, you cannot go wrong with Lush. If you're into fake tanning, you may also want to ask or gift a fake tan and maybe a fake tan remover, a fake tan mitt and all of that stuff that you need for it, especially if you're really into it. I know in Australian summer, there's a lot of people that fake tan because the sun is damn hot down here and you either burn or you stay pale for all the summer and there's literally no in between. <laughs> you may also want to ask for a hairbrush, a curling wand, a straightener or a mermaid waver. Got to include all of the hair things. Maybe you could ask for some scrunchies, some like hair bands, some bandanas, anything that makes you feel fresh and fine and on fleek. <laughs> the next section is kind of like apparel and clothing. It's a little bit like miscellaneous, but you could ask for a purse, a handbag, a backpack, a clutch, or a card holder. They always come in handy and they're great to have. You may also want to ask for some jewellery such as like Von Tresco, Pandora, Pandora is very popular. You could ask for a necklace, a bracelet, rings, literally anything, earrings especially. I feel like it's so nice to get gifted earrings because you wear them all the time, especially if you have ears pierced obviously. Um, and then you just forget to buy new ones, so getting new ones for Christmas is so nice. For these, you may also want to ask for a trinket tray to pop all of them on. And alongside that, you could probably ask for some sunglasses or some blue light glasses, especially because we're constantly staring at our phones. <laughs> Clothes, you may want to ask for like some silk pajamas or like a loungewear set. If you're into being cozy, you could ask for an udi. They are amazing, literally live in mine in the colder weather. You could ask for a dressing gown. You could also just ask for any clothing pieces that you want such as like jeans they can be expensive so you could ask for them for Christmas. Shoes you may want to ask for Nike Air Forces, maybe some Converse. The Ugg slippers are so gorgeous so just like any shoes that you want pop them on your list, try your luck, you never know and you can never have too many shoes in my opinion. Like you wear shoes pretty much all the time so why not pop them on your list? Now this next part is very Australian of me but you could also ask for swimsuits or bathers, a beach towel, sunscreen, inflatable pool toys. They are all a very Australian Christmas thing, but again, can be used other times of the year in other places in the world, but typically a very Australian Christmas present. <laughs> Now, home decor, I personally love being gifted home decor, so I've popped quite a few on here, so I'm literally just going to read them off my phone. You could ask for a doona cover, a throw blanket, or a weighted blanket if you would prefer. You could ask for pillows or cushions to pop on your bed. <laughs> you could ask for a candle or a room diffuser, a picture frame, a plant, a mirror, a bed if you want an upgrade, a dresser if you want an upgrade or need one, you could ask for a desk, you could ask for wall prints, you could ask for a floor rug, I particularly like this one here, I'm dying to get it. You could ask for a tapestry, you could ask for some fairy lights, fairy lights add so much to a room, it literally transformed my office. And if you're into it, you could also ask for like crystals to pop around your room. I think they're so nice. They just like spice it up a little bit. Now, if you're moving out or you live on your own or you are just moved out, you could also ask for some homewares. So you could ask for wine glasses, mugs, plates and bowls, a coffee machine, a blender, a toaster, a soda stream. You could ask for an Amazon Alexa or a Google Home, even a drink bottle or alcohol, just things that you like want to have in your house but you haven't really thought to buy yourself and it would be appreciated if people got them for you or if you were to get them for someone who you know has moved out. Sorry if the camera angles changed, my battery just died. But the final things on my list may not be considered exciting by some people but personally I find them really interesting and I do love to receive these as gifts. 
So this could be a book that you can read. You could also ask for a notebook and some pens and a pencil case, especially for school. Um, if you want like a nice little bougie one, you could also ask for a journal or a diary for the upcoming year. Again, a wall planner and stuff like that is also really handy. Pop it on the wall and you're good to go. Now, if you are very lucky and very fortunate, you could put on your wish list for a pet. You could ask for either a dog, a cat, a rabbit, fish, literally whatever you want. And just cross your fingers and hope that you get it for Christmas. Obviously, they are a full-time commitment. I can say that now, <laughs> owning a puppy. But if you want one, pop it on your list. <laughs> And the final things, if you are not very decisive about what you want for Christmas, you could ask for a subscription to a monthly subscription box. You could ask for a subscription to a streaming service, such as like Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Stan, Hulu, whatever you want. Or you could ask for a gift card so that you can choose what you spend your money on. So I really hope that this video helped you with your own Christmas wish list or to help gift presents to people and stuff like that. Um, I think there was about 125 things on my list somewhere around there. So quite a few ideas for you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below anything else you would add to this list or things that you might take from this list to give to people. And I'm really excited for all of the Christmas content coming up in December but thought I'd better jump on this now because gift giving and gift buying starts way sooner than Christmas Day. So I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe for more content and I love you all. Bye! <laughs>